Back with Bobby and JJ Radio, Brian and JJ Radio, we have Mr. Philip Lopez of the Lopez Realty Group in Woo! San Antonio, Texas. Oh! With Ryan Cover. Yeah. He's a buyer, inside sales agent specialist. Um, we were talking about how we got into the game, coming from new home sales to the residential market. Um, so, Phil, you got a team, a big old team at Keller Williams Realty City View on Hebner and I 10. You guys are killing it. What separates you guys from your competition? Phil will let me answer a little bit. Um, I think, you know, one thing, JJ, that separates us is, as you know, um, we, are, we have a team, and so everybody knows their job and, uh, you know, excels at that. And uh, I think it leverages it out, you know, the work for everybody, and it makes us a lot more efficient. Sure. And uh, we set that expectation with our clients, you know, from the moment we talk to them. So, you know, just as simple as me saying, hey, I'm the client coordinator for the Lopez Group. You know, this is what I'm going to do throughout the process. What is your time frame? You know, and getting to know more questions and, uh, you know, qualifying them. And if they're ready to buy, you know, as soon as possible, then that's kind of when I leverage out to, uh, you know, another agent. So right. like Candace Lauderdale or Marcus Sosa or Philip himself. And so, um, you know, just doing that and being efficient and setting that expectation with our clients and knowing, hey, you know, these are, this is why we're one of the top teams in San Antonio and in the state of Texas is because, you know, we have uh, personnel in place to excel at what they do and to uh, better take care of you. So how, how important do you feel that it's that, that expectation of front? Um, for clients, so I feel that when Brian, you probably see this too. Mm-hmm. You see clients come in and they've never bought a house before. It's been seven to ten years. Since scary they, since they bought a house, right? And yeah. I know they have studies that say like the three most stressful things that anyone can go through is like immediate family member dying and us buying and selling real estate and then right. you know uh, losing um, losing their job. Right. So how important is that expectation up front, Ryan or Phil or whoever? Um, what are you setting expectation of? Are you setting, telling them how the market is? Are you telling them, like, you know, um, like, well, how are you consulting them right from the get-go? Yeah, so, I mean, we, we definitely take that consultative approach with every client. So we'll, we'll bring them into the office. We'll, we'll sit them down and go through a whole buyer's packet of, you know, what it is, what that process looks like. So from the time we go under contract to how we're going to negotiate on their behalf, Who's in place are transaction coordinators, inside sales agents, uh, agents, and, and everybody else on the team. Um, and then kind of go through that loan process as well um, and walk them through that and how, get, how to get pre-qualified, um, what happens uh, once it goes under contract and, you know, make sure title's doing their job and so forth. Sure. All the behind-the-scenes stuff. Yeah, all the behind-the-scenes stuff. So that's... So that clear expectation that you guys set with those clients, right, when they sit down and with you guys, I mean, and it's great to hear also that you're rolling up your sleeves because you hear a lot of, like, that Rainmaker for the Rainmaker people don't know what that is that you know the head of the team that basically formed everything the guy with the big eagle that puts his name on the, that's on it the team oh yep. who's lopez that? group oh, yeah lopez. there you gotcha. go yeah. um JJ. so JJ running yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so so when you when you know rolling up your sleeves but like you're going through it, having that transparency like how key is that like is that is that huge i mean i know on the lending side it is but on the real estate side i mean just kind of wondering like is it is it the same thing is it that much that that impactful well, it's huge because, um, you know, the client knows who to expect to hear from. Mm-hmm. And I think that's number one. You know, you want to make sure the client is comfortable and that they know the expectations and they know, OK, you know, from this point forward, you know, since the executed contract, um, Ryan, I remember Ryan telling me or Philip telling me, hey, Jorge is now the point of contact. So I'm not going to be real scared when I get a phone call from Jorge saying Who's he's Jorge? with the Los- yeah, Lopez exactly. group. Yeah, exactly. And so, um, you know, that's just number one key is setting that you know expectation and going through it and reminding them throughout the process because you can tell them you know day one but you know two months later they might they may not remember so just you know staying on top of it and reminding them yeah so definitely and i'm and i'm definitely still in the thick of it you know as far as even though you know they you know call it a rainmaker or whatever but i'm still actually selling homes mm. so i'm actually i, I saw a janitor list. on his car that was really sure yeah. what he did. well he does it all gotcha. jj he does it all i gotcha. do yeah change the light bulbs all <laughs> gotcha. that stuff in the office quick takeaway while we still have y'all so walk us through the process of, i'm I'm a, I'm a seller. I'm, I'm going to put my house on the market with the Lopez Group. What should we expect? Let's meet. Let's meet right now. Straight up. That's that, it. But besides that. Yeah, we just take by the listing agreement, like Ryan said, and we'll have him sign it straight, and we're good to go. Yeah. We don't, there's no <laughs> consultation on that part. Only on the buyer's side. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, so, uh, yeah, so we'll have a you know scheduled appointment at their home. Um, you know, it's a tour. Yeah. How important is that their home? What's that? How important is that their home? 
because I know a lot of the sellers are like, I'll meet you at the office or I'll meet yeah, you at Starbucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's very key to make sure we go into the home so that way we can kind of visualize what it is that we're seeing and seeing it in the consumer's eyes as opposed to, right. you know, um, just looking at it in previous photos or photos they bring over to the office so we and can actually. Because, you, you know, you, you with your experience with new homes and you've been in model homes and you know what people are looking for. Sure. So you probably have to. It's probably that consultation part. You go, like, you, every room, like, this is what you should be doing. This is what you should be putting in the furniture. This is what you should be decluttering. This is what you should be paying. This is what you shouldn't do. You won't get your money back because the neighborhood won't appreciate it or, or take that on. Are you going every room with them? Yeah, so we, we, we give them a guide to selling your home and, um, and, and also, you know, just a few other key tips and strategies um, while we're, we're going through that, that property. But we also have a checklist for them. So they can go, and af- after we leave the property, right. um, they can can you know see uh, you know make sure that after we leave they don't forget these are the things that Philip told us to do. And that's so what's the most important the, thing. That's the most important. Yeah. To, to get the, get the property sold. Correct. Cool. Well, if you're looking to put your house on the market um, to purchase a home in the San Antonio metro area, you're going to contact Philip Lopez with the or any of the, the people with his group at www.lopezgrouprealty.com. Again, that's lopezgrouprealty.com. Call or text him at two ten nine one three five six nine six. Again, that's 913-5696. We're going to take a quick break. Be right back with Brian and JJ Radio. 